Abigail and I'm the children's librarian at the Sterling Public Library and today I'm going to share with you a couple of tearjerker middle grade books from the stacks. The books I'm sharing today are actually kind of unique because I'm borrowing both of them from the Dixon Library. The Sterling Library doesn't actually own either of these but the great thing about being in a group with other libraries is that even if our library doesn't own something we can borrow it from another library. So if you haven't done that before feel free to ask uh, about it at one of the service desks. But the first book that I'm going to talk about today is Miss Bixby's Last Day by John David Anderson. This book, like I said, is a tear jerker. Um, and before I read it, everyone that I had talked to about it had told me how sad it was. But the thing that people left out when they told me about this book is also how funny it is. So this story follows three uh, friends, Topher, Brand, and Steve. And Miss Bixby is their favorite teacher in the entire world. But she announces one day that she's so sick that she can't finish the school year. And so their class plans this huge last day party. And then she becomes so sick that she can't even attend that. And so these three friends decide to skip school and give Miss Bixby the last day celebration that she deserves because she's such a great teacher. And you already know that it's going to be a kind of interesting adventure with uh, close calls when they're skipping school, but this whole book is uh, follows all of these bad situations that they get themselves into, and some of them are more high stakes than others. Nothing too high stakes, um, but they definitely get into some trouble throughout the day, and it's really funny to see how they kind of finagle their way out of that. Um, like I said, this book is a tearjerker, um, but one thing that I really like about this book is that it's really thoughtful and sad, but it has male uh, boy protagonists. And a lot of books that are like that usually have girl protagonists, which is great, but I love that uh, both of the books I'm sharing today have boy protagonists because it shows that everybody of all different demographics can have all sorts of different experiences. Um, and if you're thrown off by it being sad, just remember that this book is laugh out loud funny. So that was a Miss Bixby's Last Day. And then the second book that I want to talk about is called Turtle Boy by M. Evan Wolfenstein. So this book is named Turtle Boy because that is the nickname that the main character, Will, his bullies, give to him. He also happens to be obsessed with turtles, but that's a whole other thing. So they call him Turtle Boy because he has a condition called Micronathia, which means that he has a smaller jaw. And so... Um, because he's bullied all the time, he doesn't have a lot of friends and he doesn't put himself out there. But one day, leading up to his bar mitzvah, his rabbi introduced him to a boy called RJ who is so sick that he has to live at a hospital and he can't leave the hospital. And at first they don't really get along, um, but over time, Will decides that he needs to help his new friend RJ live his bucket list dreams um, since he can't leave the hospital. And so just like Miss Bixby's last day, they kind of get into some quirky adventures and some things go wrong and some things go right. And um, it's just a really thoughtful book um, with um, the author of this book um, and the protagonist are Jewish and it gives a really authentic portrayal of how what that looks like in his life. And um, there was also some uh, funny parts in this book too. So um, it's not just sad crying all the time, I promise. Um, so that's Turtle Boy by M. Evan Wilkinstein. So we had Turtle Boy and Miss Bixby's Last Day in this video. If neither of these sound good to you, I hope that you will stop by the library and tell us what you like to read so that we can give you recommendations that will work for you because we love helping people connect with their next favorite read. So my name is Abigail and I hope that I'll see you at the library and we'll see you in the next video.